Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Lano56 and welcome back to Trappist. So in the last episode, we actually progressed fairly far. We got um, steel production up and running. We have uh, a colony on Outland. We have Haven and Graveyard. Uh, we have a couple of trade routes set up. We have a trade route going from Outland to, I believe, Graveyard, and then from Graveyard to Haven, and then I, th I think we have one going to the, uh, or no, we do not have one going to the Ark. Um, I might have to set one up to the Ark, even though we're not really using uh, any of the resources on the Ark yet. We're mainly just using it to thaw our, our people out. Um, but what I want to do this episode is actually set up oil production. We are getting crude oil. So we are able to um, ship oil to Outland and get what we need here in order to have a sustainable colony. But we also need to get refined oil. So we're going to work on that um, in Graveyard here. Let's see, what are these? Oh yeah, I dropped a bunch of uh, concrete off to free up some space in my ship. All right, let's see. Let's do, let's see, let's go to Haven. I think what I need is I need another, to get another cargo ship. Let's see, that's our silicone. These are our people. We have a bunch of water right now. We have a bunch of sand. So everything else is looking pretty good. We have our farms going. So yeah, so everything else is looking good. Um, we have a bunch of steel, which is nice. That should be getting traded along this trade route here yep and it is all right so we're bringing in crude oil we're bringing in potatoes and we're exporting steel all right so everything else is looking good so i think what i want to do now is actually work on getting refined oil here Let's see we have plenty of crude oil what do we need for a refinery we need well, i can actually do one right now we need eight crude oil every minute, and these produce two crude oil. So this will support one refinery, but I need crude oil. Maybe what I'll do is I'll make another four um, oil jacks to support the refinery while we have the excess oil going to, um, let's see, going to Outland over here. So yeah, let's try that. Let's get a couple more oil jacks up and running, which means I need four, four of these. No, I have 40 steel beams. I need four for each of these, so I have plenty. All right, let's do, we just do it like this. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna have to build a storage depot. which I'll just place right there. I need to figure out how to actually... Oh, they are actually using this. Oh, that's cool. They're actually taking it out of here. Okay, I like that. All right, so we have four oil jacks here. Let's get a refinery, which is right there. So I need a lot more colonists and I need a bunch more, uh, well, not a bunch more, but I do need some more energy here. So let's put another row of solar panels in here. All right, there's that. That gives us enough energy. Then we just need some more colonists. So in order to do that, I need, I need to get another ship too. Let's see. I have no steel here. Yeah, I need to get an another ship going so I can have a trade route going from Outland. I mean, I have it going towards Graveyard, so let's see, what do I need for... I have enough for a shipyard, actually. So I could very well build a shipyard. Hmm... 
here. So if I build a shipyard over here, I could do it right here even. Then I can build more cargo ships. Yeah, let's do that. What, what, what do I need? I need computer chips, steel, and rocket fuel. I think I have all everything I need about rocket fuel. And what do I need for rocket fuel? We need... I just need... I just need refined oil, which I have an oil refinery right here, so I should be able to get rocket fuel here pretty soon. Okay, I need health drink consumption. I don't think there's any way for me to get health drinks here. I have to actually import it, which... Yeah, we need more cargo ships. We just have the two right now. Here, let's do... Let's see. Well, what are you importing? You're just importing water. Okay, we'll, we'll do you over here. So I think what I'm going to try to do... Hmm. It's going to be a little bit of a hassle, but keep these trade routes here, then just add this one and import uh, health drinks. Maybe that's what we'll do. So we have Haven and we have Graveyard. I don't, yeah, I, I kind of wish they, he would, uh, they would change the interface a little bit on, on the trade route to make it a little bit easier to deal with, but let's see. So let's do health drinks. Let's do health drinks. And then in, in Outland, we're going to do health drinks and we're going to actually export health drinks. So that's how this is going to go. And, and they're going to go, um, basically they'll go from Outland and uh, put health drinks in both Haven and Graveyard is the idea. So let's make sure that he's actually doing what he needs to do here. And unfortunately we took all the health drinks. That's not good. Let's see. So we're doing four health drinks per minute and we need three. So we are producing enough, but hopefully, uh, right. And we have health drinks here and we are actually getting citizens, um, on this planet. So I can actually get citizens and take them to graveyard, but I just need to get another ship. So let's here, come, come over here really quick. We're going to do this. We need more citizens or colonists. All right. Uh, we want to do you and we want to do you. Telling us on the arc are running out of health drinks. Yes, I know. Let's see, there's seven frozen in there still. And that's empty. All right, we have all of them there. Let's delete you and then let's take you to graveyard. I need more uh, of these. Okay, let's do two, three, four. Let's get you guys out. All right. I still need more people. 
I need a lot more people. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, let's go back here and thaw a couple more people out. So we'll do... This is 24, so that should be enough to... Let's see, what do I need in Haven? In Haven, I need... I think soy calf is coffee. Soybean farm, soybean farm. Factories. Okay. I need about four per minute, so I believe I need two of these. That's silicone. Oh, I need steel beams from over here. I can add a trade route. That That is possible. Yeah, so after I get these colonists thought, I'm going to add a trade route to our steel beam export. There we go. Okay, there's that. Let's go back to graveyard. And let's get all the colonists out of here. Let's add a couple more houses. And get rid of you. All right, perfect. So let's uh, reestablish this trade route. This trade route really quick. All right, and then you. All right, we're going to add it at Haven, and it's going to be. We're going to do this. There we go. So they should offload steel beams to, to Haven as well. Which is what I need really quick. I need steel beams here so I can make a uh, coffee mixer will go around, but we'll have to make it make do with soy soy calf. Yeah, so we're making uh, soybean coffee. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's already back here. So I have to wait for the steel beams to get over into Haven. Let's see, how's everything here going? We don't have any health drinks, which is an issue. So we're going to have to make more health drinks here. Let's see, we have two, four, six, eight. We have 10 water being produced. Each of this takes two water, so two, four. Two, four, plus six is 10. So yeah, so we, we're using all the water we're producing. I'm gonna have to make some more, uh, some more water so I can get some more health drinks up and running. All right, let's see, Haven, do we have steel beams? We have steel beams in Haven, perfect. All right, so let's do two of these. And then that should be enough to make coffee. And then our, uh, our population growth should start increasing. 112, we're at 112. Let's get a couple more houses going. So this will actually start increasing our population here. All right, perfect. All right, let's go back to graveyard. How are we doing here? Colonist and Alan are running out of health drinks. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, new colonists. All right, so, so far, everything's doing pretty good. I think what I need to do is do some more research, too, here. Let's see. Yeah, everything's actually doing pretty good uh, right now. So, let's see, I have that. What, what else do I need here? I need health drinks, which we don't have any health drinks here. I think they're all going to Haven. Yeah, all of our health drinks are going to Haven right now. Yeah, I need to um, increase production. 
Yeah, let's go to Outland and increase our, uh, our health drink production here. So I need... I'd prefer to get almost two of these. So am I able to do another one of these? No, I, I don't have enough computer chips here either. Let's see here. I'm out of computer chips completely. Wait, I don't I don't I have a, a trade route for computer chips? I don't, but I can establish one. Let's do computer chips. Um, computer chips here. And computer chips here so we'll supply computer chips from these two colonies and export them over here so that should allow us to get computer chips for more production on these guys so let's do this we'll do one two which means I need four more of these and two more of these And I need more colonists as well. It's mainly just steel beams that I need right now, which I am making a few steel beams, so I just have to basically wait. Let's see, I can make some more solar panels though, if I do have the silicone for it, which it looks like I do. So let's make some more salt. Well, let's make some down here. We'll do it like this. That's probably overkill, but that's okay. All right, so I mainly just need more colonists and stuff as well. Resources. All right, now I need more steel beams for the other two ice grinders, and then we'll have enough water to support these two uh, allergy farms. And then I and, and then I just need the population for it, so I'll have to import some people over here, which is okay. Oh, and we do have some computer chips, so let's make an automated depot. I, I need a bunch of steel beams, which I don't have right now. Let's see here. Let's do resources. All right, so I need to bring in 24 more colonists over here. So that's a full cryopod or cryotube. Idiot inhabitants. So let's see. Eight. Sixteen. Come on, I need, I need one more steel beam. There we go, twenty-four. So I have enough population to support the increase of colonists that I need. Now I just have to get colonists over here, which shouldn't be too terribly hard. Uh, we are actually. Let's see. We are actually increasing our population here, so eventually this will just, um... Yep, and, and a new person was born out at Outland. Okay, so yeah, let's try to get some colonists over here. Which the main thing I need is... I need rocket fuel in order to make another cargo ship, so let's focus on that really quick. Or refined oil to rot. So let's see. This makes this makes two refined oil. I don't need a whole lot of rocket fuel. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll put you right there. So this will make a little bit of rocket fuel for us. It's mainly that's all I need is rocket fuel. Let's see how how, how many how much refined oil do we have? We have quite a bit of refined oil, so we need a few more colonists, which we're, we're pretty good on concrete. So let's turn off the concrete factory and uh, get this up and running. So then I can make another cargo ship because that's what I need desperately right now. Oh, let's see. Yep, and we are producing rocket fuel. I think I need six rocket fuel, so. That should go fairly quick. And then that'll give me an extra cargo ship to work with. All right. Let's see, I need to get more people over here. So I won't be able to do that until this cargo ship is is up and running. Let's see, how's Haven doing? We have extra people in Haven. Uh, we have all of our needs supplied, so that's good. Because we're increasing our population, I think it's probably not a bad idea to increase our water production as well. So let's get some more water pumps in here. Two, three. All right, and then I need to increase our solar production. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, perfect. So our this little so yeah our this colony is doing really good. I'm kind of using this. Um, well, we have enough colonists on the ship, but I want to get this one to the point where we can start producing a lot more colonists here. So when we run out of all our frozen people, we can just import or export colonists from this colony. And I need to increase production of, yeah, uh, I need to increase production of you guys. So four soybeans. So yeah, let's make another soybean farm. And then let's make one more coffee factory or soy calf burner. There we go. So that should give us more coffee than we actually need for future growth. All right, let's see how's graveyard doing. Ooh, and we have an extra one. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. We have an extra cargo ship. All right, we have 24 extra people here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take all 24 of you and head to Outland over here. Our colonists on Outland are running out of health drinks. Yes, I know, we're in the process of fixing that. Also, what I've noticed is um, sometimes they'll, like, these cargo ships will make the full journey, and other times they'll just, like, warp. Like, le like that. That one just warped, so. I'm not sure what that means. Like, how do you just get them to warp like that? That. Now, we only need 20 more people here, but we, uh, we can support... Perfect. There we go. All right. So this should produce enough allergy or enough health drinks to um, support this colony and then export it to the other two colonies that we have. Crude oil check, water check. Oh, that's right. I need the... Um, I need concrete. I don't have any concrete here. All right, let's go get some concrete. Uh, it doesn't really matter which colony I go to. Yeah, let's just... 
Okay, they just completely teleported over here. Come on, teleport back. Nope, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, and you tell... I, I wonder if it has something to do with the star. If they can't travel through the star, I wonder if they just, like, teleport through it or something. I don't know. Hey, good morning. Alright, so let's do automated cargo depot right there, which will support this guy. Alright, so we doubled the amount of health drinks that's being made, so hopefully that'll... Uh, Support this colonist along with, with the other two. Because let's see, we need... We need four per minute just for this colony. And each of these produces two per minute. So two, four. So we have eight per minute being made. So yeah, four is going to support this colon colony. Then the other four per minute are going to support the other two colonies. <laughs> Hopefully. I can always in increase production if I have to. All right, so this colony should be, for the most part, set. Hi well, what can I do with hydrogen? Oh, I can make rocket fuel with hydrogen. Maybe that's what I'll do, and I'll export rocket fuel from um, this colony here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I need tea and soy calf. I could, I could import soy calf from um, from Haven or graveyard actually too. Here, let's go to um, let's just put you on the ark for now. Let's see in graveyard. I don't have any health drinks being made. I, I can actually produce coffee and bread here to help with our population increase. I think, I think we're using all of our refined fuel to make rocket fuel right now. Or refined oil to, to make rocket fuel, which is which is okay. I need more potatoes. Let's see here. Four potatoes and we're consuming I think I'm exporting potatoes so let's make another potato farm make a potato farm here and then we're gonna focus on bread and soybeans so I need about three per minute for each of those so I need let's do this So I need two of these. I need one of these. And I believe I need two of these guys. One and two. So that'll support the bread. Now I need coffee. Which I need three per minute. So that's... That's two of those and two of these. Let's see, I'm gonna have to make another storage depot. I need concrete. All right, let's do this. Let's thaw you guys out. We'll delete you. And we'll do this. And we only have a few colonists left frozen in here. And then we'll 
delete you. Let's import more steel. And we'll do this. Okay. And let's go back down to graveyard here. Get rid of all the colonists. There we go. All right. Now I need... I need concrete. Let's make a couple more of you guys. Put you there. Put the rest of our citizens there. And then let's make a couple more solar panels in this area. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. So now I'm mainly just waiting. See, I still need to get health drinks over here. All right, so we should be producing bread now. Let's see, how much rocket fuel do we have? Once once the rocket fuel... I can probably turn this building off, to be fair. Because I don't really need rocket fuel right now. So let's make... Um, I need soybeans. I need, I need one more uh, soybean farm so I can make coffee. Then hopefully this will increase our population growth here. I might have to get um, health drinks. All right, let's see. How's Haven doing? We're out of potatoes. Oh, we're out of potatoes here. That makes sense considering we only have one potato farm. So let's increase that a little bit. So that'll double our potato production. Yeah, four, four, uh, about five per minute. And these only produce four per minute. So yeah, uh, definitely running out of potatoes. So hopefully this will offset that. So we'll start producing potatoes more now. Let's see, everything else here is looking pretty good. Go to graveyard. We are producing both coffee and bread. So the main thing is health drinks now. Four, two, four. Yeah, so we need more. Um... All right, so we have bread. We're waiting on coffee. We are producing coffee. Yeah, let's get another soybean farm up and running. Let's do that. There we go. So that should help with the uh, essential resources that we need here. I still need to get health drinks over here. Our colonists on Grey Bear running out of supplies. Our colonists on the Ark are running out of health drinks. Um, there's no one on the Ark right now. Yeah, there, there's no one on the Ark. The Ark is fine. Yeah, I need health drinks over here in order to uh, increase our population growth in Graveyard. So let's go to Outland. We are producing health drinks here. I wonder if I should increase production um, even further for health drinks, if I should double this again, which means I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get so much. I mean, which is fine. It's probably not a bad idea to try to double it, though. I think I needed to move the water splitter. Let's see here. Factories, water splitter. Doesn't really matter where I place it. I could place it right here. Then we can delete this one. And then we can do... See, if I want to double this, I need f I need eight of these. And I need to place another... Two, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. All right, and then I'm also going to need to bring an automated drone over here to support all these guys. Which I'll probably just end up putting right here. That'll cover all of these. All right, um, I need a bunch of people for here. <laughs> See, how much silicone do we have? We only, yeah, we need more, more silicone. So let's go to graveyard. Actually, you know what I need? I need more landing pads. There we go. That'll help. All right, let's bring in silicone. All right, and let's head back to Outland over here. On the plus side, the uh, the planets are getting closer, so the, the travel distance isn't quite as far. An oxygen bottling plant and supply it with plastic. I really don't need that, though. Because I have enough oxygen here. All right, let's make some more solar panels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. I still need more. I can't produce wind over here, so I have to go go grab more silicone. Uh, let's go to Great or let, let, let's go to Haven. And then I need a lot more more people. I need forty more people. And I need to be able to support 40 more people. So let's do eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. All right. And we should be at Haven. Perfect. Let's grab silicone. And I'm still making people here. So we're not going to touch the people at Haven. Let's go to the Ark. And we're going to thaw... We're going to thaw 48 people. Well, well, we'll thaw 40 people. I don't actually need 48. That's 20... Twenty eight, that's thirty. All right, so we'll keep four there, and we'll keep. All right, let's let's uh, load up that last person. There we go, and we'll delete you. Oh, I can't delete you yet. All right, and let's head back to Outland. So then that should be enough people. Actually, we are producing citizens over here. I keep forgetting that. We don't actually need these two uh, slots filled to produce citizens or colonists. But I brought 40 just in case. All right, there we are. Let's do that and let's make some more solar panels. All right, there we go. We have extra solar panels and we are, we're full on our population. So we should have doubled. Well, not doubled quite yet. Let's make another couple of units. I need four more of those. Two, one, two, three, four. 
All right, I need eight more people, and I have two here. Here, let's just well, that should be fine. We have we have a we have a hundred hydrogen. I can make a crap ton of rocket fuel here, that's for sure. All right, so hopefully this will allow us to make a bunch of health drinks to support this colony plus any other colony that we uh, need. Steel's fine, health drinks is gonna skyrocket, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, we're gonna be making 16 per minute here. Which means I need a bunch more crude oil. So yeah, let's go to graveyard and, and uh, increase our oil production. Yeah, we're gonna have to increase our oil production over here. I could do it over here even. And we have farms down here, so let's increase our oil production over here. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And then I also need to build a storage depot. Probably just build it right here. There we go. All right. I need 14 people. We are producing people over here. Yeah, we're actually making a bunch of people. And we're actually bringing in some health drinks over here too. That's perfect. New colonist is born at Graveyard, Outland, Outland, Graveyard. Let's go to Haven. I think we're maxed out on our population. Yep, we are. So let's get some more houses. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Right, our population is doing quite well, and we still have people in, in the cryo tubes on the arc. All right, let, let's do this. Let's make another. Um, landing pad I feel like the more landing pads we, we have the better all right so far so good build an oxygen bottling plant and supply it with plastic so we'll have to go to graveyard for that each colony has different requirements the arc is running out of health drinks I'm not worried about the arc Let's see here. Let's do an oxygen bottling plant, which means I need plastic. Refined oil, which, okay, so let's just do this. I feel like I want this to be here. Let's build a landing pad. We're gonna build the landing pad right here. We're gonna delete this one and we're gonna build the plastic factory right there. All right, so I need a lot more colonists here too then. Let's see, yeah, we'll just go here. And I need uh, 15 colonists, so we'll do, let's set it to thaw. We'll set that to thaw. All right, empty and empty, and we'll start thawing you guys. Four, five. There we go. All right, and let's go to graveyard. I can support 128, so 
I need two more habitats. There we go. Okay. So that'll support this right here. So we'll start making plastic and then I can actually start bottling that oxygen. I don't really need it right now, but I guess if I start producing stuff on the Ark, I, I can ship it to the Ark. Okay, everything else is looking pretty good here. Each one is different. I guess what I can do is start doing, um, like, research. Since I'm just kind of sitting here, not really... All right, so I should start being uh, able to make plastic here in just a second. And everything else is looking pretty good. Let's see, how's Outland doing? We should have enough water to support all eight of these. And then to support this guy over here. Yeah, we have plenty of water, we have plenty of crude oil, so why are you not working? Oh, we need one more person, that's why. But now it's working, okay. Now we're producing health drinks, perfect. Build an oxygen bottle and plant and supply it with plastic. So, what do I need for oxygen bottling plant we have right here? So, yeah, we'll, we'll just build it right there. Fresh air, as long as we have enough plastic coming in, which we should. We now have our basic supplies covered. To really expand our colonies, we require more rare materials. We might find those by surveying at other planets in the trap the solar system. Let's see what's out there. All right, so we have plastic up and running. We're making bottled oxygen, even though I don't really need it right now, but we have it if it's there, uh, or we have it if we need it in, in, um, in the future, it's there for us. See, how's our, oh, 4.7 per minute. So yeah, we need to increase that production quite a bit. And we need to increase our bread production. So, we are going to need another couple of buildings here. Let's see, I need two more concrete. Because I, I need to make another soybean farm, another soy calf burner to increase our supply of coffee. And then I'm going to have to do the same thing with bread. With bread, it's going to be a little bit different. Because one of these supports two of these. I'm going to have to make two more of these, one of these, and two more of these. So it's going to be a bit of a process for bread. All right, and there's that. Let's get all these. All right, and then let's do a storage depot. I need concrete, so we're going to go... See, how much concrete do we have on the Ark? We have 24 concrete. Yeah, so let's grab the concrete from the Ark, since we're not using it right now. All right, and then let's head back down to Graveyard. There we go. Okay. So we have that. Let's build this right there. That'll supply this. And we're going to build a soy calf burner right there. There we go. So coffee should be good. We're going to need to increase our bread production. Which I can do that as well. Let's do flour, bread, 
And I need more column or I need more uh, more concrete. Let's see, what do I need for I need a bunch of concrete. That's all I need is concrete. Alright, we're gonna go to Haven. And concrete. Alright, I did not need that much concrete. Just 40 of it will do. There we go. Okay. So I need another bread factory, which we'll do. Yeah, we'll just put that there. Then I need two more of these. Well, let's do two more wheat farms. And then I need a bunch more colonists. So we are going to thaw this last cryo tube and take the remaining colonists from the Ark. And that is basically the entirety of our uh, colonists on the Ark gone. All right, and that's it. Let's delete you. And everyone on the arc is odd. All right. Up. Oh, I need more. Uh, I need more housing. Nope. Not right there. Want to place you right there. There we go. And unload. All right. So. That should be enough resources to provide for our entire colony here. See, we need a couple more colonists over here, but that's okay. All right, perfect. Everything is going quite well. These are some massive creatures, holy cow. New colonist is born at Haven. Oh, I need another, um, I need some more camps here to actually increase my population growth. There we go, now they should start in, um, being born here. So once I hit 180 population, which is coming up quick, I need to get coffee, coffee consumption. I wonder if that's actual, oh, that must be actual coffee. Tea consumption and then milk. All right, so far so good. Let's see, what else do I need to do here? All right, we're full on steel. We need more oxygen. 2.67 per minute. This produces Two, okay, yeah, we need an, another one of these. So I need to increase our water production here again. All right, so let's make some more habitats, first of all. Yep, I know. Well, I I guess that's a good thing is that I, ha um, I can bring oxygen over here. So, yeah, let's do that really quick. Let's see, we have graveyard... Let's bring some oxygen over to Outland for us, and then I'll actually work on supplying um, oxygen over here. Yep, I know, we need more oxygen.
And boom. Wait, what? Alright, that was extremely bizarre. Alright, there we go. Alright, I have 40 oxygen here. So, okay. Um, I need... I need to increase my water production e even further now. Let's see. You know what I need to do is I need to bring plastic over here so I can start making um, plasteel. Well, let's focus on our oxygen really quick. I need to increase our water production. And each of these produces or uses up six water. That's a lot of wax or that's a lot of water. Okay, well. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Two, three. And let's make another automated depot. We'll just do it right here. All right, I need a lot more uh, resources over here to support this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build you. All right, I need a lot more silicone and then I need a lot more population. So let's head to, we'll start off at Haven. Yeah, because we have 16 extra people here. Okay, there we are. Oh, that's not mine. Alright, and then let's go to Graveyard. We have a few extra people here. Alright, and let's head back to Outland. Kind of an interesting route that they take, isn't it? You know what I, what I need to do is start surveying more planets too. There we go. Okay, and let's get some more power production up and running. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, yeah, that gave us quite a bit more energy, and then we should be able to support all of this. So,. We're, we're still 10 colonists short, but we are actually gaining population here, so I'm not too worried about it. So, so far, so good. Let's see, six points. Uh, so we need six per minute here, and then 10 per minute is going out to our other colonies. So that is not bad. Let's see, let's start surveying other planets. We'll start with the innermost planet here. Well, actually, let's let's do this guy. We have another moon here. 
Let's survey you. Colonist near Raybird have been disappearing. The only trace left behind is Puddle of Goo. Uh oh. We are studying the oil we pumped up from the graveyard site. When I returned from my break, there was just this big puddle of goo. That's not good. Uh, research the mysterious goo. Okay. Colonists have been disappearing, leaving behind nothing but a puddle of goo. Find out what is happening to our colonists. Yeah, let's start researching that, because... Yeah, that's our second colonist to die since we started. Locate Helium 3 on Moon. Locate the source of anomaly readings at Rocky 2. I think Rocky 2 is the planet I was just um, surveying. All right, so we're researching the mysterious goo. Let's see, Rocky 2. The second of the two larger pieces of rock orbiting the gas giant, there's a good chance of finding accessible resources on this moon. Let's go down here and see what, what, what we have here, what resources. So, Earth-like gravity, vacuum, helium. So, we actually have helium here. So, I don't really need helium right now, but I think you can use helium for um, the fusion reactor. All right, let's see here. The goo is mostly biological matter, essentially oil. Within the oil, we found traces of the missing colonist's DNA. We also found an unknown type of bacteria. The bacteria clumped together around the water droplets in the oil. This makes the puddle very gooey. Within the oil, we found traces. That's not good. So, yeah, the, our colonists actually turned into goo, which is kind of sad. Uh, no, we'll take them to graveyard. So I need to research research a slick antidote. Water, crude oil. Good thing I have all that. Must research an antidote. All right. Yeah, we're we're losing more and more people to um to the goo outbreak. Something in the oil is killing our colonists. Right, we're thirty one percent of the way there. Let's see. Everything else is doing pretty good. Our these colonies are actually doing quite well. After I doubled our production of both uh coffee and bread. Alright, we're fifty three percent of the way done. Let's go to let's see, how's Haven doing? Haven's doing really good as well. You know what I want to do is I want to actually start um, getting the apartment complexes. So I need to actually import plastic or export it from graveyard and take it to Outland. Although I feel like the goo outbreak is a little bit more urgent. Cause I don't, cause we, we don't have any colonists left on the arc. So I don't want to have to, um, we haven't been able to create an antidote. All attempts at researching an antidote against the bacteria have failed. Whatever we do, the bacteria seem to group together and work around our attempts to stop it. How can bacteria do that? The bacterial colony forms a single mind, a big oil brain. Bob. <laughs> the search for an antidote has failed, but did deliver lots of insights into the bacteria. The bacteria clusters around the water droplets. Each cluster uses the water droplet as a medium to exchange information. Individual clusters connect through a specialized subspecies of the bacteria. In this way, all the bacteria are connected in a way that looks like our own brain, but totally different. Research staff have nicknamed these bacterial big oil brain, or Bob for short. 
All right, so it's not really a sickness then. We can research plans for a device that sends powerful pressure waves through the ground. The thumper. So we're going to talk to Bob. Um, I need to research, here it is, communication with Bob. Holy crap, good thing, I, good thing I have all these resources handy. Yeah, because we, we keep losing people to Bob. Sounds funny to say. All right, let's see, we have plastic, I can... You know what I can do? Is I can actually export plastic. Did someone remove the water from the desert plant to stop the infection? And did they know about Bob when they did this? Oh. Maybe, okay. So yeah, we're gonna make another trade route here. Cause I believe all of these Yeah, you're, you're full, you're full. Yeah, so let's make another trade route. So this is gonna be a trade route between Graveyard and Outland. Cause it's, it's for plastic. So we're gonna supply plastic at Graveyard and we're gonna export it at Outland. Cause I'll, I, I need to start making plasteel ingots. All right, let's go to graveyard, oops. All right, research complete communication with Bob. All right, we now have a construction plan for a thumper if we build it at the graveyard. We should be able to aid research the colony mind. Oh, here it is. Whoa, this thing's huge. This looks like a good place for a thumper. All right, we need a bunch more silicone to actually make more solar panels, but let's do... I want to get some um, plasteel, so I don't really need any more room for these guys. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's enough silicone for now. So we should have enough. We started talking to the colony mine. Meat that thinks and talks. We wish to observe, not eat. We want the same. But you take us from our but but you take us from our slumber. You burn us. There might be a way to filter the bacteria from the oil. Filter proposal. Bob does not seem to mind us taking the oil. It just prefers not to be burned along with it. That seems fair. We can equip the oil jacks with a filter that separates Bob from the oil. Let's try that. Do I need to research that? Oh, I oh I need plastic. I had plastic, now I don't have plastic. All right, there we go. Now I am, th I am researching the Bob filter. Because right now Bob is still killing off all my citizens. I wonder if Bob can give us some more insight to things. All right, and research is complete. All, our, all of our pumps have been fil fitted with the new filters. We'll be able to extract all the harm in the colony. You don't burn us, we don't eat you. Let's, take, let's stick to that. Okay, so we are filtering Bob from the oil. 
And Bob, in return, is no longer killing us. So, yay. All right. So let's see here. Let's get some plasteel ingots going. I still need a, a few more colonists, which we're producing over here. So that's good. Um, what do I need for 18? Holy cow. They require 18 colonists. That is very expensive. Stronger than steel is light as plastic, the obtainium of our age. Well, I need a lot more people. Eight plus steel brick. Um and I need everything here. There's not a way I can... I'm going to have to make more housing. And I'm going to have to bring people over here. Um, since Bob is no longer... enough oxygen. Bob is cute. We approve. <laughs> All right, I need, I, I need people. I, I need to bring oxygen o over here. Oops. So this is plastic. So let's do... So we're gonna supply oxygen and we're gonna export it over here. And then what I need to do is build another one of these guys. So let's build another vessel. Yes, I know we are running out of oxygen. I am working on it. Let's see, how's our food and stuff doing? Everything's doing quite well over here. I wonder if I need to increase my water production um, at Haven. I need more colonists. Yes, I know they're running out of oxygen. We are fixing it. Oh, we have plenty of colonists here. 176. All right, yeah, our colony, so our, this, our Haven's doing really well. This is basically going to be my uh, production for all of our colonists here. Let's see, how's Outland doing now? We still don't have any. We keep losing people. All right. We're actually doing okay. I definitely need more population over here, though. There we go. All right. And we are bringing in oxygen. There it goes. And we have oxygen. Okay, so we shouldn't have any more issues over here. And then once I get more population up and running, we'll uh, be able to in produce plasteel, which will be awesome. Let's see, graveyard. You know what? Let's turn off. Let's turn you off for now. I'm going to turn these, these three buildings off so I can make another cargo ship. And then once that's made, I'm going to turn this off and turn these back on. Yes, I know we're running out of oxygen. It's fine. And you are just about done. 
This is such a fun game. Alright, there we are, and let's do, do, do. Alright. I guess what I can do is I can do all of these guys here like this, so everything's turned on. Alright, so let's collect some colonists from here. Let's go to Haven and collect some more colonists, which we have 21 that I can use. Do you know what happened to the giant creatures that lived on the desert planet? They took our water, we ate them. Soon after, our water rapidly disappeared anyway, and we slept. Oh, dang. So they killed the giant creatures that lived on uh, the desert planet. Okay. Locate the source of the anonymous, anonymous, wow. I cannot pronounce that apparently. Locate the source of the readings at Rocky 2. <laughs> I need to actually get a colony on Rocky 2 as well. All right, and we have enough colonists here to support everything being made. So we should start producing um, plasteel ingots or plasteel bricks. And then with plasteel bricks, what can I do? Finally, the robots are coming for our jobs. I want to make a robot. I want to see what the robots look like if, or and what you can do with them. So it's only going to take a couple of minutes, but I should be able to... Let's see, what do I need for an apartment complex? I need eight plus steel bricks. We currently have one. I feel like it should use four steel or I feel like they he needs to increase the um, capacity for each of these buildings like if it uses four plastic then supply eight plastic so I think that's a good suggestion because then they don't actually stop production at, at all they'll just keep going indefinitely Let's see, three. I wonder what this uses. Finally, the robots are coming for our jobs. Eight plus steel bricks, four computer chips. You know, let's get some more apartment complexes. There we go. So then I can actually increase our, our population here. So then eventually I, I can get uh, multiple of these going. All right, so let's do a factory. Oh, I need eight. I have seven, so I need one more. And any day. No. Seven. Come on. Oh, there. Oh, they made two of them. There we go. Nine. So finally, robots are coming for our jobs. I need six. Oh, that's not that expensive. I just need more plus steel ingots. All right, let's go get some more people, which I actually have people here. There we go. Ooh, I need a lot more oil. 
Um, let's go to graveyard and increase our oil production. Because we are going to, yeah, we're, well, we have 100 crude oil here, so. We have enough oil. I just want to make sure they're actually picking it up like they should be. Yep, they're picking it up. And then they should drop all the oil off at... Um, Outland. Had a brain fart. I, I forgot what the name of it was. What do you know about the universe? What you call the universe is but one bubble in a chain of hyper surfaces separated by informal boundaries along both time dimensions. Both time dimensions. Ooh, I unlocked an achievement communicating with Bob. All right, so it is actually working. So we are actually um, getting oil over here. I'll probably have to get more oil, but that's okay. Let's see here. All oh, that looks good. Oh, I forgot, I forgot what I was doing. I need I need a population. All right, so there's eight there. Let's go to Haven. We have eight extra people in Haven as well. All right, and that's 16 people. And let's head back to Outland. I wonder if he'll, if he'll add the ability to like increase the speed of our ships and stuff. You know, let's get another landing pad over here as well. Doesn't really matter where I put it. There we go. Now we have enough people. All right. So we only need a couple more pieces of plasteel and we're making our first robot. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, we're full on steel. We don't need any steel right now or steel beams. That is awesome. Uh, we need more power though. Can I make any more? So no, I can't. Right, our first robot is going to be here in just a couple seconds. Uh... Oh, so robots are essentially colonists. Oh. Okay, so ro so you can actually have a you can probably just have uh, robots instead of colonists. Interesting. I was expecting like an actual robot that I could do something with, but no, it just basically just. And robots probably don't need, um, yeah, they, they don't need habitats or anything and they, they don't need air. They don't need anything. I could get robots to operate the arc. Oh, that changes the game. 
All right, let's get you. All right. Uh, actually, we're going to need more silicone. Let's grab some silicone and then let's head back to Outland. So maybe what I'll do is on Unexplored here, which I don't have set up at all, maybe that'll be a colony of robots. And we'll see uh, how that how that works out. Oh, this is a this is getting exciting. Bam, bam. All right, so let's make another plasteel plant. See, we have fourteen plasteel, so. Yeah, I can make more, uh... Ooh, I can make our first apartment. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another one of these. We're gonna delete this guy and we're gonna make an apartment there. 256 that holds, so. There we go. Oh, that's cool. So I think what I'm gonna do is let's get rid of all the colonists here. All right, so let's delete. Oh, I need, um, All right, so let's get rid of all, all these colonists and then we're gonna fill this with robots and we're gonna start a second colony with just robots. I wonder if robots use, use more plastic, or, or not plastic, but more energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're doing something outside. I was like, what's that sound? Okay, so yeah, we're we're gonna continue making robots. Oh, that's cool. Which means I need to increase our plasteel plant production as well. But we do have these uh arcology sites. The arcology is the pinnacle of space based luxury living. The habitat, basic living. Let's see, what else can I do here? Yeah, I'm gonna start making more robots and then I can uh, take those to different colonies. I should have two robots in Outland. Wait, what? Okay, I just made three robots, but I don't see... And I've been... Uh, have I not been using the resources? Oh, there they are.
Maybe it just takes a minute for them to pop in. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see, I have, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I have three, I have one here, so that'll be what? That's gonna be 13, 14, 15. We'll, we'll do that, we'll do 15 robots. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll take a group of 15 robots and take it to the unexplored site on the secondary moon here, Rocky 2 and start another colony. I guess what I can do is I can actually go to Rocky 2 here really quick with what I have on board. We can set up a little colony over here. There's, oh, here it is. It does the anomalous readings. We'll need a research lab. Uh, so it's right here. Okay. So is there an area, a fairly big area that I can build over here? There's a bunch of craters and stuff. Now there's not really a good area to build. Probably doesn't really matter where I build, but let's just build. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just build over here somewhere. We'll just do this. Landing pad. We have five workers. And they don't actually need anything. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, We have helium. I guess what I could do is I could... Um, do a different form of, of, of energy here for fusion reactors. Produces 240 energy. Concrete, steel, and computer chips. All right. Let's see how many robots. So I need steel, computer chips, and I do need concrete, but let's go over here really quick and drop off the resources I need. All right, and then I need concrete, so we're gonna have to make a trip to, we'll go to Haven. We don't have any plus steel bricks right now. Um, I guess what I could do is I could make another factory. Yeah, we need a lot more colonists over here. And let's do that and let's head back to the dig. Yeah, I need to build a laboratory to figure out what, what this alien artifact is.
You know what I need is I also need some silicone. Mainly for I'm gonna get I'm gonna get solar panels um, at least until I get a fusion reactor going. Ooh, I'm almost out of silicone here. So let's increase our silicone production. I need four sand for two silicone. So if I want two of these, I need four of these. So let's do... One, two, three, four. One, two. There we go. Um, I need some more power over here. All right, and then let's get some more colonists. So what we'll do is we'll go to Haven. This Haven probably has everything I need, and then and then some. Yeah, we'll do this. Back to graveyard. Ooh, I need I have an idea so we're not gonna build another uh... yeah we're not gonna build another habitat we're gonna start building apartments so we're gonna go to Outland get some plasteel and then go back Do solar panels produce less energy as you move forward I honestly don't know because it, it it would be a fairly big difference from these planets here to these ones let's let's, let, let's see cheap and clean energy six energy generated so they generate six energy here and they generate six no so it it's the same regardless that would be a, a neat feature to add in like the farther away you move from the sun the less energy solar panels produce that's an interesting idea for the developer actually because then that would make solar um, panels less effective farther away and you'd have to find other forms of energy i really like that idea though all right um more robots over here uh let's make the laboratory and let's get some solar panels up and running what are they doing outside that is very annoying four five six great now we can look for a way to get get to this artifact we can drop some plants for late laser guided excavator by attaching a giant laser to some movable scaffold and we can carefully remove the rock without damaging whatever is hidden underneath A lot an extra fusion reactor oh I need plastic oh I should have it let's go to Outland yeah I don't know what they're doing outside but that is very annoying all right I need hmm Let's see. I need more people here. I can hold 256. We have 256 plus 5 robots. I need plastic. So let's check our plastic production over here. How much plastic do we have? We don't have any plastic. So I'm going to have to increase our plastic production. So, refined oil. So this makes two refined oil and this produce, this uses one refined. Oh, so I can make another uh, plastic factory.
And then I'm gonna make another storage depot over here as well. Let's place it right there. All right, I need more citizens. Let's see, I believe my ship is in Outland with 15, yeah, so let's, because I need to increase my plastic production more than anything else right now. So let's head back to Graveyard, or let's go to Haven first and grab some more citizens. Yeah, because we have five extra people here. I don't really want to go past 180 because uh, I'm going to have to come up with some more resources. I'm trying to keep it lower. Alright, there we are. And let's go to Graveyard. And I need more living space. Oh, I went to actually grab the... Let's see. In Outland, do we have... We're using it the minute we... we... Yeah, let's pause production really quick. Let's, let, let's get some plastic steel bricks up and running. Yeah, so we're, we're going to do this. I can always delete the, the housing. There we go. And let's get rid of you guys. All right, so we have one refinery. I probably need, let's pause you. I don't really need any more rocket fuel right now. I think I have quite a bit of rocket fuel here. I do. I feel like I need to increase my uh, oil production though. So maybe what I'll do is I'll start by doing that over here. Two, three, four. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that and that'll help with our increase in. Oh, I need um, tier three production over here now all right so we should be producing more plastic now so we should have doubled the amount of plastic that we're producing i can always make more if i have to especially if i want to make more plus steel bricks let's see here do we have a all right we are getting some more plus steel bricks over here so that's good Yeah, so I definitely need a lot more plastic. Let's see, each of these needs two plastic. So two, four, six, I need eight plastic per minute over here. And we are producing four plastic. So I need two more of these. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to get. So I need One, two, let's see, one refined oil, I need one, so I need four refined oil, this makes two, so, let's do another refined oil factory right there, this uses eight crude oil, so I need 16 crude oil to support these so we have two four six eight so 16 plus an extra four here and an extra here so we should have enough oil and everything we need to support this plastic production uh let's get some more solar panels up and running because we're gonna need it and then i need a lot more uh colonists so let's head to Haven. I feel like there should be a way to increase our uh, rate of colonists. 
because we aren't really producing that many. Oh, I need more people, that's why. All right, yeah, let's go to um, Outland. We'll grab some plasteel bricks. Then we'll head back here and start placing um, apartments. Because we actually have a fairly decent supply of plasteel bricks over here right now. You know what I can actually do? Build a habitat. Let's delete you and let's build another. I need concrete. I need concrete. Okay. Back to graveyard. Now, while we're waiting, let's do. We should keep the thumper online to communicate with Bob. Who knows what benefits benefits communication with an alien colony mind could bring. Well, it's still on. Oh, it's not on. I need so many more people here. Alright, let's build an, an apartment complex. We're gonna do we're gonna start building them right here. So let's do this. And I can get rid of you and I can delete you. There we go. And we can have up to 264. So yeah, that should give us a lot more room for colonists to grow. All right, let's do this. Um, I need concrete, which we don't have. Yeah, I need concrete over here. Okay, so yeah, let's grab some concrete. We'll probably have to grab it from Haven instead of Graveyard because we're not really producing a whole lot of concrete here. So yeah, let's go to Haven really quick. All right, and let's head back. Uh, I'm gonna take some silicone while we have it too. Okay. Not that I really need it. All right, I'm gonna see what that sound is really quick. They are mowing the lawns outside. Uh-oh. My cord got caught under underneath my chair. All right. Come on. There we go. And let's do an apartment complex here. There we go. All right. We're slowly getting enough resources to get all of these up and running. We don't have any plastic though. Like we're not producing any plastic. Even though we're supposed to be supplying it. Oh, I need more solar panels over here. There we go. All right, you know what? Let's turn you off. Yeah, I, I need more people, so let's bring our, our ship that we have just sitting over here to Haven. 
grab whatever colonists we have just sitting around, which we have seven right now. See, how's my water production doing? We're pretty good on water. That's health drinks. 74 water. Everything's doing really well, at least for right now. I need to research um, that uh, anom anomaly on the dig. So let's, um, that's the wrong one. Here's, here's my ship. Colonists. All right, let's take you guys back to graveyard. There we go. See, we are producing more plastic. I don't really need concrete right now, so let's turn concrete off. And hopefully that'll supply all of these guys. I'm kind of wondering if I should make another oil refinery to, so we have some extra refined oil. Probably wouldn't hurt. All right, and you guys are still making. So yeah, I need to get tier three production up, up and running too, but I, I just need a lot more population in order to do that. All right, so everything should be for the most part working. I have a couple of, building, of buildings turned off right now, which is fine, but we should be producing enough plastic to support the production of our plasteel bricks. And what I can always do is if I make another, that's eight colonists there. And I need 12 more colonists in order to support that. But if I make another oil refinery, that can support another two plastic refineries. So and that'll be more than enough plastic. I need a lot more uh, people, but we are slowly producing more people. Let's see, in Haven, we already have three people made. So yeah, we'll, we'll get there. But yeah, that will increase our plastic production so then we can make more and more uh, plasteel ingots or plasteel bricks. All right. Let's go over here. It's crazy that this is over here and this planet was over here at the same time this planet was over here. So this has gone so much further around than this guy has. I need to start surveying other planets as well. Let's see, how's our... We have 32 of them. Okay, that is that that that's awesome. All right, so I want to start making more robots for us. Uh, -oh, we're six short. We should start producing more population though. Yeah, we're slowly uh, getting more and more colonists here. So let's take, let's see, what do I need for the dig? I need plasteel. Okay, so let's go grab some plasteel from here. I don't think I need all of it, but I'm gonna grab as much as we have over here and then let's head to the dig. And then I'm gonna call the episode here in about five minutes. All right, so let's get rid of all of you guys. Let's do this and let's research the dig. And that's going to take a minute. I have 11 robots working here. <laughs> It 
it's kind of nice because you don't actually need any habitats or anything. I mean, they'll just do their own thing. So, like, on these planets here that don't have any oxygen or atmosphere, like, robots are, like, the perfect citizen. All right, we're at 37%, 38, 39. So I really don't need plasteel ingots here then. Um, basically, I could produce everything I possibly need. So theoretically, what I could do is if I can make enough robots at one time to support this entire colony, like... Oh, that changes the game. I just need a lot more plasteel in order to support these robots. Plastic, 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 plastic. All right, we're slowly getting there. Let's see, what was the 87%, 88%. So we're just about researched uh, the dig. Nine and a hundred. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Make sure the laser beam has enough power and we can start the dig. Whoa. How much power do we need? We need 160 energy. So a fusion reactor is what we need. Okay, um... Steel beams, check. I need... Oh, that's easy enough. Let's go grab some steel beams, which I currently have right here. <laughs> okay. Um, so this produces two helium. Let's see. Every minute, 0.5. Wow. Barely any helium. All right, so let's do that, and let's do this. And this should give us helium. And there we have power. That's easy. All right, and now let's actually turn this on. Oh, I need nine robots. All right, so let's go back to Out Outland. Let's see how many, oh, we have plenty. So I need nine, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's start making those. So that'll give us nine robots. I don't think we'll be able to um, turn the dig on in this episode. We'll do that next episode, but uh, we're going to try to make as many robots as we can right now. I need a lot more people. Let's see, can I make another... Here, let's delete you and let's make another apartment complex. There we go. So I need more people, so yeah, let's go to Haven really quick and grab some more people. See, how's Graveyard doing? We still need five more people, but we are um, producing a lot more plastic and stuff, so we should be good here for now. All right, uh, 12 people's not bad. All right, and that should help us with our population. Oh, wrong one. 
And wrong one. And wrong one. <laughs> Let's see where's my other one at. I should have a ship coming over here. There it is. There we go. Okay. Waiting for resources. Plasteel bricks. We have plenty of plasteel bricks, so. Now let's turn one of you guys off for now. Let's do that. That'll, okay, there we go. So I need nine more robots. Yeah, because the colony on the dig is exclusively robots. And I need 12 colonists here. See, how much helium do we have? We have six helium, so I can actually turn you off. I need to keep you on. I can... Turn you off, turn you off. Which means I, I only need three at that point. Which we have some extra robots being made, but yeah, I'm gonna have to call the episode here. We did hit the two hour mark, but yeah, we did quite a bit. We started communicating with the alien entity known as Bob on Graveyard and he, uh, was killing our people off, but we uh, made peace with them. Um, and then we're in the process of researching this archaeological dig right here to figure out what, what this is. Um, it's an alien artifact under, underneath this mountain, but yeah, this is a really fun game. Um, I cannot wait to continue and seeing what there's more to do with it. But I like the idea of making robots and having like little robot colonies on these worlds that um, don't have any atmosphere. Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying this game. It's really fun. Um, has an interesting storyline, and it sounds like almost each set of these planets have, like, a different story. Like, the desert planet was Bob. This one's the alien artifact. It'll be fun to explore these other, these other uh, planets here. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in the next video.